Hey guys, it's Jada, and so today I will be filming 18 things that I learned in 2018. This year was definitely a year for growing, and yeah. But before I go ahead and bore you guys, let's just go ahead and get right into this video. Ready? Okay, number one, if you never ask, the answer will always be a no. I learned this a lot this year. If you never ask, the answer will always be no because you'll just never know because what if just miraculously they just say yes but yeah i think it's just a really good lesson to learn so don't be afraid to ask and just be curious and just ask things because you just never know what the answer may be number two letting go of toxic people is easier said than done Hashtag motto of 2018. I think that it's just really important to understand who are the people that are actually gonna truly serve you in life and who are going to support your growth and grow along with you. And by all means, I don't mean like cut them out and like start drama and then like do all that stuff because that's just a whole ton of extra. Just realizing what's good for you and what's not. And they don't even have to know that they're toxic in your life. Just kind of slowly back out and they'll start to realize sooner or later that you just don't really care anymore. Number three, putting yourself first is not and never will be a bad thing. Um, that's so true. Again, got more into that during 2018, just learned that. I always want to make sure that everyone is feeling okay and always feeling great. But with that comes consequences against myself and not taking care of myself and putting myself first, which kind of sucks. Just learning to put yourself first sometimes is okay. Number four, you don't have to follow in everyone's footsteps. I'm mostly pertaining that towards school. I talked a lot this year about not going to college and that's just something that almost every single person is doing or is gearing themselves up towards. Just watching everyone do that and you not wanting to do that for a purpose if you fully believe that you are capable of doing something on your own and whatnot do it you are independent and you are more than capable of achieving anything that you want to achieve so yeah following number four and number five is find something you love to do and find a way to make money doing it and you're set I teach dance classes this year and it has been the best decision that I've ever made and if I never asked or proposed my proposition for starting those dance classes, the answer would have always been no and I would have never known what it was like to teach. So yeah. So find something that you love to do and find a way to make money doing it. So like say you like to walk dogs or you like animals, find a way to walk dogs. If you like health and personal fitness and like all that stuff, you could like start an Instagram blog or you can do all these things and you can find ways to make money doing it. You don't have to follow everyone else's footsteps. So that's just me combining those two, Those, but those are like two different lessons, I guess. Number six, we think too much and don't do enough. We overthink everything, and me personally, I tend to overthink absolutely everything. Just being able to trust yourself and just say, hey, let's do this, like let's go for it. In my podcast, by the way, I started a podcast, so if you guys are interested in listening to that and me going more into goal setting and like all that stuff, for the new year, I just uploaded an episode and you guys can go ahead and listen to it. Just search High Key Adulting in iTunes and you're set. I talk a lot about taking that first step since the first step is always the hardest thing in every single thing, such as if you wanna wake up early, the first step is always the hardest step, which is actually just getting up out of bed, something like that. But yeah, we think way too much and don't do enough. So count to three, count to five, count to 10 and just go, go and do what you need to do. Number seven, cheesy, but love exists and sometimes in the most unexpected of ways, but it does. I put this one as number seven because my boyfriend's lucky number is number seven and um, yeah, I still haven't told you guys the entire story. I did a boyfriend tag a couple months ago, but I didn't really go into depth about the entire story, but yeah, it's really complicated, but that's, that number eight there is a time and place for everything it just may not be your time just yet i had to learn this the hard way this year because just growing my youtube channel there are always peaks where i'm doing really successful and then there's also some peaks where growth just stays really steady and nothing's happening for me and i tend to get discouraged by that because i watch all of my friends growing and i'm just like why am i not growing I took that as really inspirational. It just may not be your time yet. And if you were to get everything right now, would you even be happy, you know? So like there is a time and place for everything. So my time just might not be just yet. But if I keep working towards it and keep putting all of my energy towards it, something is bound to happen. Just not right now. Number nine, music and scents, like smelling scents, sorry, are the epitome of nostalgia. And then I said, especially during traveling, because um, as you guys know, I was in Singapore this summer and guys, like literally I remember eight years ago when I went, how exactly it smelled and how everything was. And it's just so weird because smells and just music can take you back to like 
absolutely anything and I was just listening to a lot of music yesterday that I listened to in seventh and sixth grade and just that period of time that I was in I was just like wow like that's crazy I just love that feeling of just like smelling something that you've never smelled in a long time and it just brings you back to something and it's just I don't know, so cool, but yeah, that's something else that I really fully learned this year. The next one I live by all the time, but I just had to put it in here because it's so true. Work hard in silence and let success be your noise. Too many times people go on social media and they rant about all the things that they're gonna do in the new year or like all the things that they're gonna achieve and set out to achieve and like how big and bold they are and like whatever. But like keep it all to yourself, like work so hard. You don't need to let people know, oh my God, I spent 10 hours like working so hard on this video or like I spent so much time doing this and this. Like literally it'll show. Work will show how hard you worked on it. You don't need to tell people how hard you worked on it. I love that quote so much live by that all the time. The next one is a funny one, but green tea is essential. This year I got so into green tea all over again because it literally is a life changer, especially during like all this holiday food and all the greasy food and like everything. Drinking green tea after every single meal is just essential for me just because it kills all of the fat and it kills all of that nastiness from building up. You know that like nasty feeling that you feel after eating greasy food or like holiday food or something like any kind of food to be honest and that not breaking down inside of you but like drinking that green tea kind of melts that all away as soon as it goes into your body so it's like you don't feel that nasty like after bleh kind of feeling afterward but yes green tea is essential if you don't do it already or you don't like it get into it i don't care it's good for you there number 12 law of attraction is real whether if you think it's real or not law of attraction works just like gravity does whether if you believe it or not it's kind of like that but um yeah i still need to make a law of attraction video i talk so much about it and i preach so much about it but i've never actually had the time to just put all of my thoughts and ideas into one video which is something i should do very soon because i feel so passionately about it so yeah let me know if you guys want to see that number 13 people come into your life for a reason a season or a lifetime um that's a quote that's pretty popular a lot of people know it but it's more about like the letting go of toxic people kind of feel but um it's so true don't try and force relationships that don't serve you i keep saying it like that because it's because it is for you you don't have to try and like make anyone else happy because the number one person that should be your priority is yourself and that may be selfish to some people but it's really not it's really just taking yourself into account and just focusing on your well-being and what you need to thrive hashtag thrive it's okay for people to leave your life it's completely fine that is the way of life people come for a recent season or a lifetime and i love that so yeah number 14 when talking to people listen don't autopilot a conversation they are human listen and i wrote that yesterday so yeah i just really feel strongly about that because i feel like in the day of technology and like all this stuff we kind of just want to speed everything through and we want to get to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing we just need to focus on the person that we're talking to look them in the eye and talk to them and listen to what they're saying because you might learn something yeah it's really meaningful so listen to what they're saying number 15 if it's not going to matter in five years only worry about it for five minutes i agree with this so wholeheartedly there are so many times where you just want to feel so like ah about something but don't worry about it if it's not gonna matter in five years only give yourself five minutes to worry about it and i didn't say just don't worry about it completely because you need time to mope and you need time to cope and if crying or screaming or ranting to someone about it for five minutes is gonna help give yourself those five minutes and then be done with it even if it's your mistake someone else hurt you something it's you choose the way that you want to react to something and give yourself five minutes to figure it out and you're done Number 16, grades don't define you. Oh my god. That is the biggest, one of the biggest lessons that really sparked in 2018. I really feel strongly about this topic because I feel like there are too many kids who define themselves over their grades and it's simply not their fault. Like if they're trying so hard and yet test taking isn't the way for them or homework or just not understanding what's happening in class is the way that they don't understand it's not completely their fault. Like there are some kids who just don't care. Look, that's a completely different story. But if you're giving your entire all and you still fail to like make a perfect score in a class, like it doesn't define you. Like it doesn't define you at all. It's a grade, like it's a letter and you're gonna let a letter control your life. I highly disagree. So yeah, I talked a lot about that in my why I'm graduating early video and um, how I did it. Number 17, skincare is everything i just believe that it is the key to all 
locks the doors you feel so much more confident and when you treat yourself better you treat others better i just always think that if you're feeling good just like here and just everywhere you have a better sense of who you are when you do skincare i don't know why but like it just feels so good to just take care of yourself skincare try it out and the last one that is so important that I'm still working on, that I'm still learning about is number 18. Now is the time to do everything. The present moment is the most important moment and that is all. That is just so important to remember, especially because like if you're watching this video right now, now the thing that you're watching right now, if you made it this far, hopefully, first of all, thanks. Second of all, you're in this present moment right now. You're watching me right now. Focus on that, you know, focus on what's happening right now. Don't focus on finals that are coming or drama that happened in the past. Don't feel anxious for the next test that you have coming up. Focus on just right now, just breathe. Life is just too short to be worrying about the past and the future and you're not worrying about the actual moment that you're in. Just breathing and just realizing like, hey, like that's a tree, this is a table, like I'm sitting in this moment, I'm wearing this, like I look like this, like just realizing that like all these things that make right now, right now is the most important part of your life because you're not gonna get those five seconds back that I just talked about. And you're not gonna get back how you were feeling five seconds ago. Like you literally just need to focus because time just keeps moving on whether you like it or not. So just be sure to be aware of the present moment as much as possible. That's why people like going to concerts and like hanging out with their friends because they're fully present. But the thing that comes into not making things present is when you pull out your phone and you're on social media while you're with your friends or you go to a concert and you're recording the entire thing to watch later. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know why people record the entire concert when they can just watch it and just have fun like you paid for a hundred dollar ticket to record the concert like I just don't get it but yeah so I stand that motto that the present moment is the most important moment so cherish that and value it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video it means a lot to me to talk about this kind of stuff and this is kind of like my forte I like talking about things like this to inspire you and motivate you so give this video a like if you guys fully enjoyed it fully enjoyed it be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already to uh keep up with more content i hope you guys have a wonderful new year you guys deserve it um yeah take some of these into the new year and focus on them and you will have a great year but yeah take care and i will see you guys soon bye <laughs> My hands. I just wanna make with a stand. I just wanna, I just, I just wanna catch one glance. I just wanna see you dance, girl. I just wanna, uh, yeah. I just wanna shine like my.